morning, everyone. Well, it is 20 past seven, and I'm about to hit the road. I've got 50 k's to get to the nearest city. Uh, I'm hoping I can find a mechanic before then and get these new brake pads. The first road, the first part of the road, uh, I can't see it. It's quite possibly the steepest hill I've ever climbed in my life. So that's a good start. But there's only one way this is going to happen. Let's do this. So here's the thing, right? I literally have no front brakes at all. So I have to take it really, really easy because these are the back roads. I've just taken a screenshot, which I'll show you, just to really explain how back roads all this is. My GPS doesn't even know I'm on the road anymore. Anyway, it's fine. But having no front brakes has meant that I have to go really, really slowly. And going that slow has really given me the opportunity to really take it in where I am. I mean, I wouldn't fly through here, no way, but I'd definitely be moving. But having to go slow has really given me a chance to just drink it in where I am. And this is absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful. I got a little choked up before. I got the smell of pine trees, and man, this place reminded me of home. Yeah, so it turns out that that road I just took isn't actually on the map at all. I was wondering why the GPS was going so crazy. Anyway, that's the road I should have come down, and that's where I'm going. Hey Dad, you know what this reminds me of? <coughs> Driveway. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Well, I think that's it for the madness. I'm down in the bottom of the valley now. And if I have a look at the directions, there's no more really sharp, tight corners. If you see them, you know you're either ascending rapidly or descending rapidly. Uh, the bike's doing really, really well, especially considering I have no front brakes. But I thought I'd just stop, take a breath, take a photo, and then get back on the road.
Sara, ten tekke tegen die arm. So I've stopped at a highway truck stop to have a bit of a feed and a break because I've been on the road for hours and not having front brakes really puts you in a mood. Ah, oh, I think it's yogurt. I think it's iodine. It's like liquid yogurt and salt. Salty. Good though. If I could just lie here for the next 45 years, that'd be great. But, gotta hit the road. I <laughs> really need to find brake pads. So I'm out the front of a bicycle slash motorcycle store. And I have found my new brake pads. Now they were 15 lira, so that's like three dollars. That'll be so they'll be good enough to get me to Georgia, and then I will swap them out for a real set and probably keep these as spares. But I think that's uh, that's problem solved for now. That was uh, that was a good one. That was one of the better ones. Oh, well. I say these things happen, these things shouldn't happen, but it does. So this is what a front pad, well this is what a brake pad looks like. See how it's nice and thick? This is what my rear pad looks like. Nothing left. That's a problem. So I've just asked where the bathroom is. Turns out, it's in the cemetery. I feel a bit rude. Oh, that was so good. There was lunchtime in there. So they gave me some pita, which is like flatbread and a thin layer of mince. And a couple of cups of Coca Cola. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Alright, but it's time to hit the road again. So I found my hotel in Gaziantep. I'll stay there for a couple of days. But there's only that one way that's going to happen. Too hot. It's like 30 degrees. I need ice cream. I don't need ice cream. It tastes delicious. Though. So when I said it was too hot, 38 degrees. It's too hot. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream is finished. You know what that means. Gotta get back on the road. All 38 degrees worth. Damn, it's hot. It's too hot. Hotter than goddamn.